like all right so on ps5 they have a new feature where i mean yeah ps5 they have a new feature where if you're in a lobby let's say you're playing a game or whatever um you can actually record whenever somebody is um talking in the party chat so that Oh, you can actually record whenever somebody's talking in a party chat. So let's say uh, they're saying some uh, special boy gamer words and things of that nature and saying some not safe for work things. You can record it and submit it to PlayStation and have their account like banned or whatever so that they could uh, face repercussions. And what they did is there was an, when uh, the PS4 got its quote unquote final update, they're saying like they warned people like, hey, if you if you're in a party chat with a PS5 person, you might be a you might be record getting recorded, you know, because they, they the feature they added they basically can shadow play you now, which What's is that? Uh, um shadow play. Never yeah, heard that term. that's on um, on PC. It's like an application where I think it's like Control G or something like that, and it records like the last let's say 15 minutes of whatever your screen was doing it records the audio and all that so what people would do is let's say i'm in a discord chat with my friends and somebody says something like let's say somebody says some unintentionally gay shit right and then i shadow play it what it would do is go back and record the last like five minutes of conversation and i'd be able to like shadow play a, like yeah, I'd be able to have like whatever they said on like, um footage. That's basically what shadow playing was. And like some people used it for evil, like I described, and some people used it for good. Some people use it for good, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> it means what I said. Some people use it for evil, some people use it for good. Well, you can pirate it there? Pirate what? Uh, like when you're doing shadow play, you get pi uh, like you pirate. Shadow play, like, you get uh, games or something. No, 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 no. When you shadow play, it's just it just records everything you're doing. That's all. Mm. Oh, it's like what's what's the bad part? Like I don't understand. Like I said, whenever if you were to say something, you didn't want people to hear. Like you didn't want everybody to hear. Somebody could shadow play, it and now they have um recorded footage wrote slash recorded proof that you said what you said. Uh, yeah, um, now you getting what I mean by people. Uh, like, oh, you said this. Uh, I'm like, it's like, oh, you didn't say that? All righty, let me pull up the footage. <laughs> uh, oh. You say you're going to kill me? Oh, I, mm -hmm. Like, oh, you didn't say that? Are you sure about that? Here. Oh, you, you, say, you said the N-word? I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, uh, this footage says something a little bit different. I swear to God, there's no vodka in this. Anyway, on to the oh, next that's topic. funny. That's funny. <laughs> on to the next topic. I don't know what you're talking about, sir. All right, now we get. So there was an article going oh. around about how in Britain, it was Brit. It was the UK. Mm -hmm. I remember the UK. I don't know like the complications between London, Britain, all of that stuff. But basically, in the UK, when people were um shipped their PS5. Instead of actually getting their PS5s, what they would receive was random household items. Mm -hmm. So, for example, you ordered a PS5, but instead a toaster showed up at your door. Pretty sure you'd be angry. Didn't have any real reason to share this other than the fact that that's kind of funny. Now, like from the details I read, long story short, I think it's an inside job. I think some uh, there's a few people working at Amazon maybe like turned in a blind eye to things and stuff like that and selling the ps5s out the back on like ebay or something and splitting the money up i don't know exactly i'm just mm. talking out my booty cheeks and i'm talking allegedly but from the details that i read it sounded like an inside job and i just wanted to share that because it sounded kind of funny but on to some more 100 percent strictly gaming news I wanted to talk about the struggle to cop a PS5. Like, Caesar, do you have a PS5 yet? No. No, I don't. Uh, drop, a like on, <laughs> drop a like on this video or rate this podcast five stars if uh, you never had a PS5 in your cart or if you got it in your cart and it got deleted out. <laughs> what? Delete it out? What do you mean delete it out? I don't get that. All right. So when you, let's say, go to Walmart, like uh -huh. because of the bots, 
like the scalper bots going in and wait, wait, wait. Before, of before, like we to find the scalper bot i couldn't really understand what that is like like the bot and scalpers for, is that so basically what they'll do is they'll pay for um bots like programs and it'll go on the walmart website and it'll buy however many ps5s as fast as um as fast as possible so like these things will go on and order like eight ps5s and have them shipped to your door in like 10 minutes i mean i mean not 10 minutes in like 10 seconds so before uh -huh. 10 sec so before 10 seconds pass these bots done went in added to cart and then checked it out before you could even um before a human person can even do half of that stuff even with their information preset these bots go in and they do all of that stuff in less than 10 seconds so uh -huh. so these are like these are like you like you pro you tell these bots um to you tell them like hey I not the, not the, not like literally but like yeah. like if you, you want to buy like i'm gonna say assassin's creed like hey i, I want to buy assassin's creed and like this the bot like and you said it it, it takes about 10 seconds like it has a, you have to give all your information like your credit yeah, yeah, card you can plug in all your information and within 10 yeah. seconds it already mm -hmm. has that so yeah. the reason why i made that joke about um like this video well that's not really a joke you better like this video because i know you didn't have a ps5 in your card if you're watching this but basically what will happen is the bots will go on there and they'd order up all the ps5 so whenever a human like a regular person just trying to buy a ps5 for themselves whenever they would try to order a ps5 they'll try and add it to the cart but the bots would already have all that stuff pushed through shipping and processing to the point to where all the bots would crash the website so somebody like me who's just one person who without a bot i can't i can't go in and input my information that fast like the bots are inhumanly fast and then on mm -hmm. top of that the bots they can load up everything faster i cannot they can push through stuff despite if your internet is good or bad they can push you stuff way quicker than i am way mm. quicker than i can because like i said i have to humanly like for them to refresh the page it just sets in a line of it just activates a line of code and less than five seconds the page will re i mean less than 0.5 seconds in a page will refresh 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 so, refresh me i have to physically take my mouse move yeah the so, over the uh, refresh so basically button, then click it so basically we have to manually like try to put up our information yeah while we could just put our information with the bot and then tell it what we're gonna yeah. buy yeah that's basically what it is and it takes like like that yeah, like literally as fast as you snap that bot already added it to the cart and got it shipped and got an email confirmation mm -hmm. to you. So the minute, so the, like a minute after it, the link goes live, w the Walmart website crashes. Mm -hmm. Like the whole website <laughs> crashes because of the bots. So I could not, and that's with, that's not just Walmart. Walmart is like the bots main target because they, their recapacha system it hasn't done anything and before their recapacha system it was even worse and the best thing you could do is sit there for two and three hours and reload and reload and reload and then every other time that it's not like a um that is like not a bot and stuff like that and you try and go through and buy it guess what it's probably hmm? uh oh oh like every time you, every time it isn't like just the bots and it's people then it's probably something where they they activate the link like 5 a.m in the morning or like 12 p.m at night i mean a.m in the morning well morning night technically but still it's like they do it at that time and nine times out of ten i'm i'm not awake because i have a normal sleep schedule i wake up like around those times so even if i am awake then I'm probably just waking up and then I have to run to my computer, run to my computer, open up the website when the link is active, you know, go on to the website. Then I got to add it to my cart, put in my, like by the time I do all of that, the bots done ordered it already or people ordered it already a hundred times over. So it's, it's hard out. It's tough out here. It's tough. It's tough in these creeks. It's tough in these creeks. So it was like, it was like, it was like, too much it was too much for the system or something 
yeah when i tried to go uh to gamestop and buy it physically which i was gonna make a uh vlog of it but i'll just insert the footage here into the podcast okay i walked i had to walk out into the street what's up y'all now your keen eye may have noticed that it is dark outside correct not just because i'm here but because it is 601 a.m because that's when i last checked like a minute ago and i'm about to do some of the most utterly dumb sh i've ever done in my life and sit outside of GameStop and try, try and cop me a PS5 like an officer. But don't know if I succeed. But we got to go out there with a positive mindset. The opposite of how I want to be to COVID. You know what I'm saying? Got the Truki on deck. You know, you feel me? From last night, yesterday, technically. Because that was the day that Thanksgiving was on. You still can't see me. This camera got me looking like I'm dark. Like I'm Tyrese Gibson. Like I wasn't born a light skin or something. Uh... I'll update you on the situation and basically vlog two things. It's pronounced pecan, not pecan. I don't know what the fuck a pecan is. Pecan pie and yams are fucking gross. Well, hold on, let me zoom in. I did not expect there to be this much of a line. Or if that is a line, I'm not sure. I can't really tell. But if it is a line, wait, hold up. If it is a line, well, fuck me. If it isn't, hey, let's, hey, let's go. But I think it is, so. Hopefully I get a PS5. Probably won't, because that line is long as fuck, and you know niggas be camping. So, uh, yeah, I'll update you later. Hopefully my car doesn't decline either. Okay, yeah, so, let me zoom in. They got plastic from there all the way down there. Let me be real, probably not getting that, but let me be hopeful, cause I know I'm finna get that. Speak it into existence, positivity only. Yet another failed attempt at getting a PS5. Am I PS surprised? <laughs> no, I'm not, cause I said it earlier. They said that, like the employee came out and said, broad daylight, there's no more PS5, and niggas is still in the line, and there's mad police over there. Like, over there, there's like, where is it? Like all, oh, oh, I was pointing at it. I'm a dickhead. They got all that police. They were like niggas dead ass trying to fight the employees and stuff because there were no more PS5s. I mean, niggas said it mad long ago, but still. What I should have did was pretended I was back in middle school and just skipped the whole line, but that would be rude. And nobody wants to deal with rudeness while trying to get a PS5. Because I'm trying to PS stay alive, not PS die. I'm just gonna say P.S. before everything I say. P.S. This fucking video's over. Like, subscribe, share, you little cunt. Bruh. Like, they only had something like four, like four P.S.5s. <laughs> what? Like, if you didn't camp outside of, um, GameStop for like the last 24 hours, for like 24 hours, 48 hours, you weren't getting the P.S.5. So I came there like, oh yeah, the store opens in an hour. I'm thinking because where I live, like that GameStop isn't really that popular and nobody goes there. I'm thinking that if there is anybody on the line, it'll probably be like 10, 15 people. Nah, I go there. The line is uh, literally up the up the um to Lowe's. Like if you know what I'm talking about, the Five Towns Mall area, that GameStop line was at the was past the KMR, past all of that. It was at Lowe's. I was like. I looked at the line. I was like, you know what? I'm going to give it a chance because you never know. But nine times out of ten, I'm a, I'm a realist. That, nah, B. Nah, B. So I waited. I waited. Uh -huh. Seven, oh, seven, ten came. I looked at, I looked at the time. It was seven, ten. There was no more P. All that, as soon as I heard P, I just walked off the line. He didn't even say PS5. He said, there is no more P. I just stepped and walked away. I was like, yep. It was, uh, a, it was a nice experience. I talked to some people online, you know, crack jokes and stuff like that. But I was like, I'm a realist. I ain't getting no PS5. And I'm not trying to stand online and buy an Xbox. So, yeah. Uh, we are we are rare. <laughs> we are rare. <laughs> I did add some stuff about how, like, like in general mostly the um this console launch like those notes 
are like referring to different specific events about how this was like the worst console launch there is like the ceo of playstation waited until like now and like he recently released a statement saying like he'll never release a playstation in a in a midst of a pandemic and me i'm sitting here like really nigga really you're the ceo of playstation you are the ceo of playstation I am a regular person who has never been the CEO of a company and I've only had one job that technically isn't a job working at a company in an office type of position. You knew that the PS5 launch was going to be poor. Y'all did not. Y'all were not able to release to produce enough consoles to release. it. Y'all just wanted to compete with Xbox because Xbox is made in America so they have more than enough consoles to um to sell to people so like there are bots buying xboxes but it's not like with playstation oh, nobody wants so an he, xbox did he excuse excuse himself for that like no that's like, what he said i don't remember the exact quote but it boiled down okay. to dang I, maybe i shouldn't have released it amidst the pandemic you think Way I'm sipping on that app, that um fruit punch you'd swear there was vodka in it. Anyway, like I was saying, like this is one of the worst console launches ever. And then PS5 so, wait, who, came out. And who had the worst? Wait, so who had the worst console launch? Was it Microsoft or Sony? Like who? For this generation, I think Sony might have. I I think it's kind of even because. Hmm. Nobody wanted an Xbox, and the PS5 has a slew of day one issues. Like, for example, if you're playing Spider Man Miles Morales and you put your console to sleep while it's saying quick resume, it'll brick your console. It's like a Wait, lot what? of. Yeah, while you're playing Spider Man Miles Morales, if you put it in sleep mode and turn off your console, it'll brick your console. Wait, what? Yes, it bricks your console. It was a lot of weird stuff like that. Like, there was a glitch with Demon Souls where. It would cause your PlayStation to just keep restarting the SSD. Like the storage on the SSD, it isn't expandable. Like basically, the feature's there, but you just can't use it because PlayStation locked it. Like they locked the ability to use the feature, and it won't be unlocked until a future update. So the SSD inside the PS5 that has six fucking hundred gigabytes. You can only use those 600 gigabytes unless you're loading up PS4 games. Mm. You can't load up any PS5 games off of an external hard drive, which I can kind of understand that because there's like, what, five PS5 games out right now, like Bug Snacks, Miles Morales, and stuff like that. Also, um, Bug Snacks is a shit game. I just had to say that, uh, like, I've devoted my life to s- the my life to uh, slandering yeah. bug snacks because it's kind of a uh, game. I don't know. This is like, I don't know. This is a copyright phrase, but does P does PSI get a, a donkey of the day? PS Five? Nah, yeah. nah. It doesn't get a donkey of the day. Uh. They the PS Five CEO he gets donkey of the day. Definitely, he does get donkey of the day. Maybe I shouldn't have released my console mid-pandemic. Like, what? Nigga, you wanted to compete, right? Compete. Knew they had under, um, not develop. They didn't have enough PS5. They know they didn't have enough PS5s to go around, but still wanted to to do a PS5 uh, release because they wanted that, that juicy, juicy, sweet, holiday money see holiday season money right instead, uh-huh. of produ- instead of producing more consoles and pushing it back to 2021 nah y'all niggas wanted to compete right yeah y'all gonna get <laughs> sales but it's not gonna be like if it would have been in 2021 nine times out of ten because like one reason why i heard a few people saying they shouldn't sell it in 2020 is because like people are um nobody's gonna buy it because nobody has a job because 2020 but i look at it like hey look 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 that doesn't make sense there's a lot of people with no with their light bill unpaid but the ps5 but uh fucking 100 billion per that 
I had my words, then I lost them. What I was trying to say is there's a lot of people with their lights off and a pair of J's. That's what I was trying to say, but my brain just started confusing the words and jumbling jumbling it up. I don't know if you've ever like heard that story of should I get these new J's or should I pay my light bill? But there's a lot of people who think like that. So I was like, no, and the PS5 memes with the free marketing that that gave them. I was like, I have no doubt that the PS5 is going to sell and that it's going to sell well. But it's going to sell to scalpers, not humans. Scalpers. And like me personally. Scalpers. Yeah. Wait, scalpers? Wait, yeah. What's the difference between the scalper and the bot? Like, I'm confused. The, the bot is like the program that scalpers use. Scalpers are the, like the people who actually make like the humans behind it that go on eBay and list it so that it can be sold. Uh, uh, eBay and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, they're hey. going to make the. Uh-huh. And like I, I feel like me and you have two different opinions about scalpers. And you know me, I'm a contrarian by nature. So what are your opinion on scalpers? I'm from right with the term. Is that like a reseller for like, yeah, a, like a reseller? The... Okay. Um well me, you know, I I don't I'm not a hardcore reseller, but um no, I was saying, what's your opinion opinion on them? Like, good, bad, why? It depends. I, I'm just gonna say it depends, you know. But to me, I'm not a hardcore. I'm not a hardcore reseller. But um, no, I'm talking I was, about in terms of what they're doing. Do you feel like what they're doing? What is, is okay? What are what are if it's bad? Like they're gonna, they're buying the console and reselling it. Like yes, they're buying the console for five hundred dollars and then reselling it for eight hundred plus. Five hundred and eight hundred for eight. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I don't know. That's probably bad, maybe. I don't know. That's their business, you know. They're trying to do business. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Me personally, I can understand why somebody would say that they're bad. They're taking a product and selling yeah. it for a price like five times it's yeah. worth or two times it's worth and whatnot. But me personally, dead ass if i had the money i'd be doing it too because i yeah. look at it like it's one of those things where you gotta ask if somebody's familiar with the concept of supply and demand people want this product and mm-hmm. people are going to buy this product i mm-hmm. know people want it because it's hard to get it's very very hard to get a ps5 right mm-hmm. now people mm-hmm. want ps5s right now mm-hmm. so what am i doing selling ps5 it's mm. it's as simple as that. I look at it like nine times. The scalpers, out of 10, really, right? basic scalpers are everybody, man. You can like no, a scalper. Not really, not really. Okay, okay, I get wrong. Not really. Scalpers are people who like go out of their way to like buy up the consoles and sell it out of profit and stuff like that. Yeah, but not not everybody. I mean, like any, like every, it, it, it could be the person around the corner. That's what I mean. That not everybody can oh, do oh, it. Like but, anybody, yeah. Anybody. Like, like I said, you gotta have the money to do it, but it's yeah. one of those things where uh where that phrase scam money don't make no money comes into play because like once you buy the PS5, you know you're getting you like you know you're getting your return of investment. Like that's guaranteed return of investment, bro. Cause like a new console generation happens like every what 10 years or so, like a, a, at least five years apart in between actual new console generations releasing. The last time a new console generation released was 2013. And with the secure the PS5 memes, I can guarantee you that there's gonna be somebody who buys it. So with me, I feel like somebody who does that is just making a good business decision instead of like somebody who's doing something evil in a way that most people who I hear talk about like scalpers and things like that paint them yeah. mostly paint them in an evil uh hey. menacing person type of life